Uh, all singles. All singles, yep. Uh, play to your left. List to my left. Okay. <clears throat> I even brought my Sean Connery file today to help me. Oh, yeah? You got it from the police? <laughs> okay, stand by. Stand by. Uh, let's give a commercial for golf real quick. I gave you some golf balls today. Why do people play golf? What do you think the main attraction is? What's it do for you? Uh, well, if you play golf, you can't think honestly or do anything else when you're playing. Uh, I think it's the most uh, revealing game. That's a, I don't know if it's a game. It's something other than a game. I couldn't define it. But it's obsessive and revealing, and a very healthy balancing factor, I think. It certainly is for me, and also it's one of the few games in the world that's really still got dignity as a game. Certainly has class. Yeah, no question. Do you ever lose your temper? Can you, but of course. What do you do? You throw the golf balls or you throw the golf no, club? No, I slice a lot, I so I have problems after about nine holes, and if I'm still slicing, I get tired and I get irritated. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got to find a way to close the face of the club. Yes, I know. Yeah. Well, but it's endless, and uh, as Jack Nicholas says, it's an unfair game, and you have to accept it. It's like the life in that way. Also, it's also a game that you can cheat at. It's the easiest game in the world to cheat at. As and we learned in Goldfinger, I guess. Yeah? Okay. Well, the only one that suffers is you, because you know, and you can't unknow. So if I'm a producer in Hollywood and I'm trying to get Sean Connery to be in my movie so I can get rich, because we know he won't make you rich, I'll steal all your money and make myself rich, <laughs> as producers do, uh, put a golf scene in there or something that's going to that's gonna help? It's not going to hurt. Absolutely, but the golf scene was already in Rising, Rising Sun. Sun. The golf scene I was suggesting and put in Medicine Man. I just finished the film Good Man in Africa. The golf scene was already in there. so. That's kind of fortunate, I suppose. Clint Eastwood gets to play the piano now in most of his movies, and you're playing golf. Does you Clint play the piano? Mm -hmm. uh, I saw Danny DeVito playing the fiddle in uh, your other, other people's money or mm -hmm. something. Obviously, he'd played. Do you have any sense of what is commercial, or do you really care that much? I mean, I know you have to if you're going to be executive producer of a film, but is that a consideration for you? Well, it's very nice to think that it would have some commercial success, yeah. But um, primarily, it's to find something that I really would enjoy, and I presume then that other people would enjoy to see it. And of course, obviously, I'm, I'm, I think probably 60, 40 or something. And you don't look at a movie whether it's fun, do you necessarily? Do you look at it? It's work for you. I know it's work. It's very yeah. serious work. But it's a degree of fun. You need to have fun in a project, don't you? Well, I, I to like but, it. Well, yeah, but I mean, Russia House, for example, I think is a, a very good movie and a good example of what I'm talking about. I love the story. I love the character, and I love the idea of what it was trying to mm -hmm. say. It's not my idea of fun. Right. Weeks and weeks in Russia, working in Zagorsk and places like that, where you know it's where nothing you know works. I'd been there 30 years before, so I knew something about it. But I still, when I'm, once I'm doing it, then I'm absolutely into it, and uh, I don't see a golf course for nine, ten weeks. Eh? But um, and I would have saw, I would have thought it had more commercial value than it did, but mm -hmm. it didn't. So there's no way of really know. I mean, they're different doing formula pictures. I think. Do you ever go back when you're dial? Do you ever dial around television when you're off somewhere and a Sean Connery movie comes on? Because my goodness. Everything from Tarzan's Greatest Adventure you've done to Meteor, I didn't even yeah. know you had done. I guess a lot yeah. of people didn't know you had done that one until it came yeah. on television. And, uh, and obviously all the great movies, but do you ever stop and watch yourself or you go like this and just keep on spinning? No, um, sometimes I, I've been in, uh, I was in Sharjah, in Dubai, and there I was speaking Arabic. It was kind of interesting to watch. <laughs> but uh, What movie was that? Um, I think it was Wrong is Right. No, no, it was uh, The Next Man, mm -hmm. which was very popular in the Muslim countries. You can't go too far without the Bond things. You know, I was in my closet the other day looking around because I never go in there too much. And do you even recognize this man? Ah, it's just like last week. <laughs> what are your memories of those things? 
I mean, still, are they good memories? Because people won't let you get too far from yeah. You're always going to be Bond. I love you for yeah. Bond. Yeah. And you have to have a warm place in your heart somewhere for that. Well, a couple of weeks ago, a friend of mine died, James Hunt, and uh, was confused with me. They thought it was James Bond. You did see that. I'm glad you're alive today. I would have been very mad yeah. if you didn't show up. Well, I, I don't know what my feelings would have been if it was true. But, um, no, I have... Um, Obviously, one has uh, some good souvenirs about it, unquestioned. Uh, what uh, what was, was very difficult to convey is the, the amount of pressure, uh, publicity-wise, um, and yeah. the uh, uncharted areas where the, these kind of productions, where they were, you know, interminably long, and one was carrying most of it all the time. And um, you go to Japan, for example, and you only live twice, there were 500 yeah. photographers and they were putting the cameras under the toilet door and uh, wherever one went you would see people sitting eating you sit down and suddenly they would <laughs> and it would be a camera had restaurants heading you off at the past you, you couldn't go anywhere and uh, I accept the responsibilities but what I find I have to make a lot of things on my terms too I like the public place I like I walk a lot I go in public places and I know it's a public sector and you drive your own car, I understand. You drive around to your own sets most of the time if you can. Yeah. And I understand yeah. you got lost on the way to this movie and you had to stop and ask some directions, but that was a trip. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, everybody can get lost, you know. <laughs> you just don't think of Mr. Bond getting lost or Sean Connery. The nice meeting you finally, sir. Well, thank you. Thank you. Don't thank lose you the golf balls. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to have you sign.